Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. So what can you do to make sure that you can deliver what you promise to your customers? There can be a lot of issues like you can find broken products or faults or there's a chance of theft. So the only solution is to count and adjust the inventory and keep stock levels accurate. So we can fix things by counting it manually. But manual counting, it is a difficult task. So we need to have an efficient counting method. So in order 15, we have inventory adjustment. So this is an essential feature which will allow you to change the product quantity by verifying the physical quantity. Uh, and this will be directly reflected on the stock quantity of the product. So you can find the inventory adjustment under operations. And now in order 15, we have an entirely different view for inventory adjustment. And from here, we can decide which products need to be counted and at which location uh, it needs to be counted. So we can choose a location and then the counting need to be done. That is date of counting. So we can also schedule uh, the date of counting. So these things need to be taken into account because there are different expensive items that need to be counted most often. And uh, the items with differences. So I can count by categorizing products, locations, depending upon your business. So here you can find a lot of entries added. Uh, so you can see there are some counted products and then you can find some products that are need to be counted like here I'm adding count as 10. So before it was on hand 12. So I'm marking the counted as 10 and you can find a difference. It is negative two because here you can see we have a uh, low two quantity of product. Now here, if you want to apply this change, you can click on this apply or you can clear using this option. So now you can see I have counted this product bag and the on hand is automatically updated on clicking apply. So you can view all of the previous inventory adjustments uh, along with live updates on the products in inventory and their stock. And here, if you open, like here you can see for this inventory adjustment entry, we can see the history of adjustment. So when you click on this, here you can uh, see an adjustment was done. So we can find the source location, inventory adjustment. So uh, adjustment was done on stock, 16 units. And here we can click on uh, it to view the details. You can see it is done. And we can also view the date and time of the adjustment. Then here we can click on set uh, to mark counted as on hand. And if you want to edit, you know, edit also, then you can apply. And here you can also find many filtering options available on inventory adjustment. Like uh, here, you can view negative stock and reservations. You can uh, filter by internal locations, transit locations then uh, the products that are need to be counted. So here we can find two products need to be counted. Then uh, the adjustment that are need to be applied. So these were counted, but adjustments are not applied. So you can view those adjustments.
then the user can also view his counts. Then we can group this inventory adjustment by product. So here you can see all the adjustments related to this product cable management box. Uh, then we can group by location. So we can view all the adjustment for a particular location. Then for an order and for lot of serial number package. And here we can also add some custom group. So for each entry, uh, you can also uh, view the lot of serial number if you have add traceability. Then you can uh, view the package owner of the product. And here we can also set the related user for each adjustment. Then you can create a new adjustment entry uh, by clicking on create button and here you can choose a location. Uh, then you can choose a product. So here I'm updating the counter as 20. Now you can see differences positive 20 because we have on hand zero and we have added count as 20. Now we can click on apply to update the on hand. You can see a message shown like some products of the inventory adjustment are tracked. So uh, are you sure you don't want to specify a serial or lot number for them because we have enabled traceability for this product. You can do it without giving traceability and you can see the on hand is updated. And here we can view the history of the adjustment. Now if you open the product, here you can see that on hand is updated. Okay, now let me add a filter like uh, the adjustment that needs to be applied now I can add uh, this data to my dashboard. Uh, then you can I can insert this to spreadsheet. So you can find a lot of options under favorites, and you can even save this current search by adding a title. Like here, you can provide inventory adjustment need to be applied. And you can use it as default or you can share with users. So here you can see a new uh, option added. So if you want to uh, view all the adjustments that are need to be applied, you can use this. Then here you can even import records like inventory adjustment records. Uh, you can import as Excel or CSV file. So you can upload it from here and it will be updated. And now in order 15, the counting is done smarter by using cyclic counting. So first of all, let's open the inventory configuration settings. And here we can find a field uh, like annual inventory day and month. So here we can specify the day and month that annual inventory count should occur. So if you set this as zero, then the first day of the month will be selected uh, instead. And if it is greater than the last day of month, then the last day of the month will be selected. So here I have set the uh, annual day, annual inventory day and month as 31st December. Now let's open our storage locations and here we have our location stock and here you can see a separate section for cyclic inventory. So here for your location you can specify the inventory frequency as days. That is the inventory counted for products stored at this location 
will be automatically set according to the frequency you have defined here. So I have set the frequency as in three days. And you can view the date of last inventory at this location. Then the next expected inventory, that is uh, the next date uh, planned based on the cyclic schedule. So you can see that is updated here because we have changed it from two to three. Now, if you change it to uh, four, you can see the next expected inventory as 27. So according to that, uh, inventory adjustment schedule date will be updated. Like if you're creating a new one. So here you can see I have created a new entry uh, for this product and here we can find the schedule date is automatically updated according to the uh, inventory frequency uh, we have set for the location stock. And you can also manually edit it from here. Then here you can see if you choose an entry, here we have an option to use these buttons to directly apply the adjustment uh, or we can clear or request account. So when you click on request account, you can find a window shown uh, to choose the inventory date, counting date. And here we can uh, set like uh, we can count the product quantity. Uh, we can either leave it as empty or you can set the current value. Same way multiple can be selected. So that's all about inventory adjustment in Odoo 50. And if you have any doubts related to this topic, you can add your comments below.